Uh, well, Graham, you look a bit different today. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Yeah, I probably sound different too, huh? <laughs> yeah, lost the, the Irish a little. Uh, look, it's a cold one. Um, winter is fast upon us and you've got a, a long trip on a Friday now. How, how preparations are going? As always, preparations have been good. Um, obviously over the hangover from, from, the, from the cup weekend, where I thought, got to be honest, I thought the lads were... Were fantastic. I've got to be fair. I thought some of the um, the play and the application has been was fantastic. And to the disappointment of that, the lads have you know dissed themselves off and ready to go for for, for Friday. Um, you know, like I said, the the hurting at the minute in terms of not really getting the points on the board that we deserve and we feel we deserve and the performances have deserved. But um, yeah, we're looking forward now, just getting stuck into the league and uh, getting ourselves back at the table. Attitude hasn't been a problem, spirit hasn't been a problem. The cup game really pushed a, a very good derby side all the way and probably frustratingly didn't take some of those chances. How do you make sure that that type of level, that type of intensity is then matched in the league? Well, it's just pretty much just business as usual, isn't it? I, I mean, I think what the manager's done since he's come in, uh, he's installed a you know a heightened discipline and and a work ethic that um, I never see die out of two, which has always been synonymous, I guess, with, with Newport, certainly as far as I remember. Um, and sit like with the players, I think, it, um, you know, the ability to just try and run harder than the, the opposition, play ourselves to our fullest. And again, like just it's, you know, working relentlessly in training, doing extras with the players, um, working on certain aspects of our game to improve the areas where we feel we need improving uh, and we do believe strongly that we're getting there and, and we will be able to turn them into results into, into, into three points. There's a big win against Gillingham in, in the league uh, at Roddy Parade a few weeks back. The table still doesn't look make comfortable reading, does it, You know, if you're a Newport County fan and never want to see your side um, so close to the bottom. Is it too early to, to panic? It's early enough to make sure you put plans in place and, and, and realise the importance of the situation, but is it too early to panic? Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, you've got to take one step inside that changing room in there, have a look around and see who sat in there, watch his training. And I think the performances, particularly Saturday and, like you said, the week before, Jim and I'm, you know, I think those performances speak for themselves. It's been a transition, obviously a change of manager, um, which is unfortunate for, the, for James. But obviously, since Graham's come in, since the new gaff has come in, what I will say, it's uh, the willingness to, you know, to, to put in that extra mile, to make the willingness to to get ourselves back up that league is 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 as hungry as it's ever been, and um, and I'm sure and positive that we will start turning these performances into results, and and getting ourselves up the league. It'd be nice to do it on a Friday night. Sets the weekend up rather rather nicely. Uh, Never great though, playing on a Friday evening. It's sort of out of the routine, isn't it? And, and I know footballers are creatures of habit. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, you know, professional sports people, it's par for the course. And uh, you know, whether it's a Tuesday night, whether it's a Friday night, Sunday afternoon, you know, it was it was out in the ordinary for for the FA Cup game on the weekend. And obviously, the performance was was what it was. So yeah, I don't believe that. I think um, the boys just want to play football. Um, and to be honest, after Sunday, game couldn't come quick enough. So perhaps Friday is probably going to be a good thing. In terms of injury news, I know you guys don't like to give too much away, but Afrande Zanzala, there was a lot of hope placed on him when he signed, understandably so. He's obviously had his, his issues. What, what's the latest on him? Well, he's back in training. Um, great to have him back, because he's a, he's, he's a character as well, as well as what he gives you know, through his application in terms of his ability, but he's a character as well, he's great to have about, he's got an energy and an awe about him, which is, which is great to have. Um, but he's still, he's still a few weeks from full fitness, but I think the pleasing thing is for everybody is uh, that he's, you know, he's back on the grass and, uh, you know, he's involved in, in, in terms of training, but he's still, still a few weeks away from full fitness. He would offer you something different when he gets back to fitness, wouldn't he? I think I think any team with the Nozins are in is going to give a give a different aspect to their play. Uh, it just is, is is sheer intensity and his running ability. He's 
you know, like you said, he's a character as well. He's a threat to opposition, nightmare to play against. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, when he's back, he's going to be an asset for us. I totally agree. Uh, Omar Bogle's had to, to shoulder a lot of the responsibility uh, up front and, and with his goals, and, and certainly ha has delivered in terms of numbers. He's he's had his fair share of criticism though, hasn't he? Um, yeah, but I've known Omar a number of years, even from my time at Cardiff. Um, you know, he's an experienced player. He's a great lad. You know, we're all completely behind him in terms of any criticism that he gets, not just him, for any player, any member of staff, anyone associated with the club. You know, we stick together. We're a strong group. We certainly got each other's backs in that. But one thing I do know about Omar is that uh, he's not one to chuck a towel in. Um, and he's, again, like you talk about Oz, Omar's the same. You know, he might not, he may have a little bit of a dry spell, if you like, there in terms of goals. But he's a nightmare to play against. You know, he occupies defenders. His, his sheer physicality and presence on the pitch. You know, I mean, you, you, you speak to any defender in our league and ask him about Omar Goal and they'll say, no, thank you, I don't want to be playing against him, regardless if he's getting his goals or not. But one thing we believe in, and I know he does himself, he's always putting in the extra work and, you know, anyone, sometimes, say anybody, but sometimes you look at players that get criticised, they're down tools. Not Omar, you know, he's chucking the extra work in up in the pitch, you know, making sure he puts it right, because he's hurting himself, you know, he's hurting him as well. So, um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure Omar will um, turn the corner very, very shortly. You can tell he, he cares, um, the manager cares, they both care a little bit too much in that Chillingham game. I would have paid tickets to see if they ended up in a scuffle, but uh, clearly everyone's pulling in the same direction. Oh, absolutely, I can't speak highly enough. And Like you say, the gaff is a winner. You've only got to look at his track record as a player and the job he's done as a, as a manager and as a coach. And he's really, since he's come in, that's one thing he's he, he's brought as well as the, you know, the humility as as a man and the way he deals with people, but that willingness to to win and that ferocious winning mentality that he's installed in everybody and it's intrinsic within him, you know, it's evident and as you said, it was there for everybody to see. Winner, you know, we're all men, we all want the same thing, and we're all pulling in the same direction, and uh, you know, hopefully that may continue as well. Finally, from me, is there anyone? we should be aware of who won't be able to make the trip to crew for injury reasons? No, no, no. Everybody's near and enough back to full fitness, which is great. Um, obviously, we have to see if training goes today um, and then go from there, yeah. Thanks very much. Best of luck. Um, obviously, well, you were a 2021 summer, 2021 was it? Last year or not? Um, when I came in, yeah, start last yeah. season, yeah. yeah so you've had three different, <laughs> three different managers, but um, where, where does Graham differ compared to Pliny and James? Well, I came in with with Michael. Um, he brought me in start of last season. Uh, obviously, I've completed my pro license and stuff with Pliny, and got to know him over the years. And obviously, after leaving Cardiff, he brought me in here, which was which was great. I love Pliny the best. He's been great for me. You know, but obviously that record speaks for itself uh, in terms of what he achieved at the club, and but in terms of installing that that winning mentality, if you like. And then likewise, you know, obviously he left of his own accord, if you like. James came in, again, another friend of mine, which is fortunate, worked with him at Cardiff also for a number of years. Um, fantastic coach, really great human being. You know, just unfortunate. There was a huge transition period then. Uh, where the style changed in terms of the way we were playing. But a lot of things changed in terms of the club around that time as well, the pitch, etc., and, and the personnel around the place changed. Uh, and that was just unfortunate loss going off, I guess. You know, we, I, I really believed then we were, weren't far away, just results. But I think since, since the gaff has come in, what, what he's, he's definitely brought is, as I just mentioned there, that, that humility, that, that togetherness, you know, the work ethic of the players, you've only got to see the numbers and training and, you know, the application in training, the extra training players are doing individually, which has all been encouraged and, and supported by the gaffer and pushed by the gaffer. But it's a real, it's a never say die attitude, you know, it's, it's obvious and as you just mentioned about, you know, I think he wears his heart on his sleeve as well and that's obvious to see it. 
but it, it, he's definitely brought a winning mentality. Even though we haven't quite got those uh, those wins, if you like, it's just you know it's, it's context of words. But you know we do you know believe in exactly what he's trying to achieve. The players, you know, having every word he says in terms of trusting what he's getting us to do as a group, and uh, it's just installing that that fight again. If that makes sense, that willingness to scrap if you got to. But the quality that comes through with that as well. Yes, we've been without a few players at a key period when he's come in, so we haven't really been able to, you know, have everyone available at our disposal. But the exciting thing for for us all under the new manager is going into a period where hopefully we can have everybody back fit. You know, with that working mentality, that you know, that application to and that desire to, you know, to make the fans. Proud, you know, there's always proud fans, you know, and that's one thing that's been evident since I've been, yeah, is the is the fan base, you know, the you know, the love for the empathy for the club. And I think the gaffer's really embraced that. And I think that's something that he is kind of synonymous with him as a person as well. He's you know, we're doing it for a reason, for a cause, you know, for the area, for the fans. And I think everybody's believing in that as well. Um and he certainly brought that to the to the table, the gaffer, yeah. Do you think we're still to see uh, the real side of his side? I mean, he's, he's not been here that long. He's been in a lot of games and cup competitions, various things. Do you think the style is still to come? You know? well, absolutely. I mean, I mean, same as anything, when you take over at a difficult period of the season, a lot of it is is kind of just it's, it's trying to turn those results around, isn't it? And, and turn the performances around. If you know, it's been relentless as well since the man just come in. We've just gone from game to game to game, you know trying to get as much work done on the grass as we can in terms of preparing right for the fixtures. And I'm sure the manager over time will start to evolve his own philosophy and style of play. But with that as well comes, uh, with any philosophy and style, comes to your personnel. And you know, I'm sure the manager will have um, things in mind in terms of how he, wants to look, how he wants it to look going forward in terms of personnel, players, existing, etc. Um, and the, and and knowing the type of guy he is as well, it, it, you know, he, he he it kills him when we don't win. You know, it's it's so obvious. Certainly, don't want to get on the wrong side of him. I know that much, but in a nice way, not in a way where it's fearful, but in, in a nice way, you know. But um, yeah, I I think given time, you know, I think the job that's been done so far has been been fantastic, and I think, you know, anyone who's watched the games. You know, can hon- can honestly hand an art and say, yeah, you know, we've been unfortunate. So just be patient at the minute. We're getting there. You know, we can focus on the league now, and allow us to just start getting at that table and getting those results. And I, I'm absolutely certain that the gaff will, um, he'll do that for us. And likewise with Joe as well. I've got to be honest, with you, Joe, great guy, fantastic coach. Um, you know, and and I, you know, we believe in what we're trying to achieve, and I'm sure the players are as well. That will come, especially on the attacking side of things. Working with the more you work, I guess that's the aim, isn't it? To start unlocking that. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I think you you've got to look at some of the stats certainly early on. You know, I think we were averaging 15, 16 shots a game. So in terms of our attacking threat, is there, and that comes back to what you're saying with your Omar's and and Will Evans's and your James Waits, etc. Um, it, it's just getting that just that conversion rate. You know, it's just taking our chances. And what you've got to realise in football, and, and what we all realise in football, um, you know, sometimes you just need that one to come off your shin, go in all of a sudden, everything's rosy again, and you kick on. So it's just that little bit of luck, which I don't think we've we've had, but I'm a firm believer in you make your own luck. And hence, be brilliant at the basics, run harder than your opponents, do the simple things right, and then, you know, your luck will change. And then you can start evolving how you want to play, start tweaking different things, which... Obviously, the manager's got you know plans for the future on as well. Uh, what can we expect from Crew? Well, it's been a change there, hasn't it? Um, it would have been nice to have um, seen Courtney, but obviously, uh, with his with his unfortunate injury, he's going to be missing. Uh, I know he's done well since he's been there. Good side crew, you know, a lot of good players. Obviously, Eli King is there with Cardiff, who's you know also a very good player. The style of play. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, and obviously they turn things around of late with the changes. But if I'm being honest, and this is about being, you know, it's about us, and I don't want to speak ill of any opposition. And the one thing that the managers install as well is, is focus on our own, focus on ourselves, 
obviously there's a game plan in terms of opposition etc but our focus is what happens in the change room um, and making sure we put it right and get where we should be and that's fair at the table um, so yeah that's where we are that's it